What's up everyone, it's DV. I've got a new video for you to show you I got to 220 million coins on my alt in under a day. So the whole point of this video was a lot of players thought, hey Dark, people only bought stuff from you because you're a YouTuber. And I wanted to prove them wrong. I wanted to show you that you don't have to be a YouTuber to be able to sell stuff in this game. One thing that will help you though, is of course being able to have that pro pass. Being able to publish your island is essential to be able to make millions of coins. Now, would I have made 100 million in a day on this account? or made 200 million on the other account with, without this published feature that pro pass players have, I would say no. I, I think I probably would have made about half. So I would have made about 100 million on my alt instead of the 220 million. And I would have made only probably about 50 million or so on this account. Now, before we begin, be sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button if you're new. So right in the middle of the video, of course, while I was trying to grind, the update did come out. So prices are gonna be all over the place. Um, when the update did come out, of course, prices were much higher. I was tracking things on the Discord very, very closely. So you're going to be like, hey, dark dude, what are those prices? Well, you know what? When the update first comes out, and, and, and this is the case for any update, prices are all over the place. I was buying like ancient strings for like 750,000 at one point, and they're not worth that anymore. And I was buying bows at like 5 million, and they're not worth 5 million anymore. So so keep that in consideration. The prices that I show in the video were valid prices at the time of the recording, but now they are much, much lower be because the update's been out for a little bit. So they're not going to line up to what they are today. So let's go ahead and get into it. I time-lapsed everything that had any kind of transaction related to it. So you'd at least be able to watch the money coming in and out. This video did take me forever to edit. So there was there was like, I think 14 hours, around 14 hours of video that I had to edit. So there's a lot of time lapses. I tried my best to keep it from being another hour video because I got a lot of complaints the last time I did my 100 million coins video. Everyone was like, Dark, why did you make an hour long video? And so I cut out a lot of unnecessary stuff. You're gonna notice the character going in and out of the, the cry iron farm. That was me farming tons of cry iron. I'm gonna be voicing over the second half of the video because I stopped talking at one point. And it's just a bunch of time lapses. So I'm going to talk over that, but let's go ahead and get into it. So the great Houdini is here. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up my macro. I am going to use macros um, to be able to cut down stuff fast. You can still use the same technique that um, Jesse showed and I showed in another video. So if you remember, you know, you can, you can basically do this and you can cut stuff down faster. So, and then we're going to go ahead and take that. Now uh, we need some seed money. So we can actually start this up. So we need uh, a couple iron and some wood. So what we're going to do is I'm going to ask someone to invite me to their island and um, we're going to get a head start that way. Please invite me. Um, let me make sure I plant my trees back and we're going to go ahead and take out my bush here because we don't need it. Okay, I got my bush. We need some ore. So I'm going to create a crop just to seed the. It's just a little easier for me right now. The other thing we can do is um, if people aren't inviting you, you could just do this. So now that they have this, let's go ahead and connect to one of these because no one's inviting me. This is the way to do it. So we're going to go to visit this popular list. You could do this for free. So you can see here um, they're buying stuff. So let's see what they're buying. They're, they are buying gold ore, which we can sell in a little bit. So they already have the workbench here so I can go and browse what they have in their workbench. I want to make this. So I need a couple more wood. So I'm going to go back to my island in a minute here and see if I can sell that. The other thing you can do is you can use their portal. So if you're using the popular list, you can just go straight into the portal and you can buy your grass. You can also sell stuff. So I've got some wood I can sell if I wanted to. I don't want to yet. You can also see here, seeds are in here. The, the saplings are available here. So, you know, the problem with this is you can't go back to your island while you're in here. And so farming, you know, wood and stuff is going to be unfortunate. So I'm going to go ahead and back to my island. I need that fishing pole really bad. I can do this temporarily at least to cut down that tree. So let's go ahead and cut this tree down. We can pick up our wood afterwards. Oh, there's some iron here too. So we can go ahead and pick this iron as well. So let's, uh, we don't have a pickaxe yet and that's okay. So we can use this. Okay, we got enough iron here and let's make our next workbench. And in here, I wanna make this. So I need some wood and this should grow next. Let's go ahead and replant these two. Put them kind of far away just for, for now so we can see when they're ready. And then let's go ahead and do the same thing here. There we go, I broke that really quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that back. How much wood do I have? I have 13, I have enough to make a fishing pole. Now I don't have to go anywhere because I got a fishing pole. Now we're going to go fishing. So the key here is again, we're going to go back to these popular islands because we don't want to have to, you know, build a, a way out to the portal because it's going to waste time. We don't need that yet. We can buy that stuff later because we have access to the, the vendings without having to build to the gateway. We don't need to go through the portal yet. So let's go here and let's see what they've got. Um, I have zero coin on me right now, but they might be buying seeds. If they're buying seeds, that's a pog for me. And that's a big win for me. Typically they are buying stuff though, like seeds. Typically you're going to find someone that is buying, including flowers. So if you have flowers, on your island you see someone's buying flowers here do i have any yet um i do not yet i do not yet but i will soon so i'll you know 
next time I go, I can look for someone that's buying that kind of stuff. And it looks like, wait, are they buying shirts? Yeah, they're buying shirts for 250. Now they probably are sold out. That'd be my guess is that they're sold out. Typically people come in here and they fill the ventings really fast. Hopefully we won't get kicked off the server though because they might shut down eventually. It's a nice island. Okay, so we're gonna go out here and we're gonna fish. I am by myself out here, which is great. We're basically gonna fish for our initial coins because we're gonna need a lot of wood to get going. And then after this, we're gonna basically make our wooden sword. So again, just like the last time in my last video, we're gonna go straight for that wooden sword and we're going to go after that slime and buffalo court island because we need vendings we need vendings as soon as we have vendings everything changes or the entire game changes once you have vendings they just shut her down do i still have my fishing pole yeah i do okay go back in here and go to someone's island and use their gateway again because it's just easy to do it's better than me having to sit there and build stuff okay so this person has vendings let's see what they've got they are letting us sell a bunch of stuff um do i have you know what? i should have i should have brought my sapling oh i got a pearl already i didn't see that i wonder if they're buying pearls they are so there's there's <laughs> there's my first win right there i just sold a pearl to them um i don't remember getting that but i got that earlier that's cool and then let's see you can sell stuff to them all right let's go grind a bit i just got forty let let's go grind you know, I can go buy some blocks. I just got 40,000. I'm so excited. It's a really good start. Okay. And this can happen to any of you. This game is very RNG. You have to remember that. Just because I'm getting stuff doesn't mean you can't get better. You couldn't, you could have gotten a propeller. I mean, it's all RNG. And instead I got a pearl and it's very easy to get pearls right now in this, in this, um, I will get more pearls from doing this. So if I do, I'm going to go sell some more to them. It's a really good start. I'm super stoked. Okay. And I'm getting some carp in here. So carp is great because what we can do with carp is I can actually make fertilizer with carp. So that is a 5,000 coin right there carp and salmon if you get carp and salmon you get you're getting money so this guy is inside the pond which helps a ton because more fish is going to spawn for us come on fishy come over here got salmon so that's another fertilizer that's another five thousand okay i got some trout i got some carp sweet I don't think this guy knows how to fish, unfortunately. I'm not gonna take his fish, that's mean. Okay, let's go over here. All right, I clearly have enough to be able to buy some saplings though. So I'm gonna do that next. Just wondering if I can, if I can get a propeller, I'd be so stoked, entirely possible. If you spend a lot of time, you can get a propeller. That's 900,000. I might be able to get another pearl though. Oh, I just got another pearl, dude. Right when I said that, I just got another pearl. Let's go back. Okay, so let's go sell that. That's awesome. I'm so stoked. Let's go sell that before they shut it down. Okay, so I'm at 80,000 already, dude. Are they selling anything? They're selling stuff. Lighting station, I can't use because it's Game Pass item. What do they have up here? Do they have anything? They do. Oh, wait, I can sell. I can sell for 7,000. I can ask them if they can refill. Wow, they're buying these for 300. I buy them for 6,000. Like they're buying these for 4,000. I buy these for 20,000. Wait until you see how much I make. Oh my gosh, using these same techniques you got it so i could sell these for 300 coins each i was buying these for a thousand each okay we're going to sell that berry to someone else unless we can find yeah we'll sell it. there's so there's always someone there's always someone buying berry seeds okay so now that we're here i'm gonna go ahead and i have money okay so now i'm in the top list i already have eighty thousand within the first um 10 minutes of playing and i can actually buy enough to get some gold i don't have enough for crystallized iron though but i do i do need totems so these guys invited me okay cool i'm going to go out and get some black some blocks and some trees we just need like five trees and some blocks we'll buy 100 blocks all right and let's buy some totems we need some iron totems i can afford i'll get like i'll get like five initially and there's our fruit tree we're gonna cut that down to sell now i don't have to ask for any invites because i'm building my path as a shortcut as a fast way to get across so we don't have to actually farm we don't have to we don't we don't have to like mine any blocks on my island i didn't touch a single block on my island here this saves a lot of time okay we're gonna go put two more across and plant these we're gonna go so we got we have our lemon tree here which is great so i need three more wood for my weapon so we're gonna wait for that. We can go ahead and get rid of this. We'll sell this later. Someone will probably wanna buy it because I'm a new account. These aren't actually available for existing accounts. So someone will wanna buy that for decoration. So I've got enough for the wooden sword. Let's go ahead and do that. And then uh, to make my next tier, let's see, I need, so I'm gonna be using the fast pick method here. It has not been patched as of, as of this video, so you can use it too. If you are on mobile, there is the same similar method where you have to do like a half, it's like a half pick and then you do it again. Possible to do on mobile and Xbox and computer. So you are, you do not need a macro to do this, but I'm gonna use my macro just because it's just a little easier for me to use because I don't like having to use the window UI over and over and over. So after this, I'm going to go make my stone pickaxe. I really need that because that's gonna make things so much easier while I'm out there farming for some gold. 
It'll just be so much easier. Oh, did I buy totems? I did buy totems. I didn't even set those up yet. Okay, I just need a little bit more stone, but that's okay. I mean, even if I got crystallized iron, because we'll get crystallized iron last. So I have enough stone to do what I need here. Let's go back to my island. I'm going to go here. I'm going to make my stone pickaxe. So I've got that. We're in good shape here. So I'm going to go ahead out with my sword. I can get rid of this out of my inventory space there. That's what we need. So what we're here to do now is grind for my first sticky gears. And I'm going to make a vending machine. After we make a vending machine, then we can start this up. So it is again, we've only been playing for about 15 minutes now, a little bit, a little bit longer than 15 minutes. So we need five green sticky gears. I just got one. I got one. I got five more, four more to go. And all these slime balls you can sell back to the adventurer. Hey, I got a green. I got two greens now. Ow. Stop hurting me. I swear they made the distance for these guys a little bit closer because now they like seem like the colliders are so much bigger now. Okay. So I got three greens. Still need a lot more. So let's go round these guys up. I, I really enjoy farming slimes. It's just fun. Brings back memories of first playing this game. I got a key. I got an island key. Sweet. I need the first five green stickies. In fact, it's a good idea to have, I would say six of them. And the reason is, is you want to, you want to start something to be able to sell inside your vending machine if you can. So you might as well have an extra beyond that first vending machine. Cause then you can buy greens. You don't have to farm for greens anymore after that. Okay. I got another one. I just need one more. Yeah. I got six. Okay. So now we can go to Buffalo Court. So we're here to get some gold. So it, you do have to harvest these ores to get gold to spawn. I would say don't bother with the acorns or horseradish they're not worth it unless you're trying to farm for starfruit seeds starfruit seeds are worth the you know they used to be worth a lot more let's say starfruit's just not worth it anymore if i get one sweet but i'm not going to bother farming for them see like this right here oh, i just got a starfruit seed i just got a starfruit seed first try that's great beginners luck. So we're here for the gold we might even get a crystallized gold it's really easy to get it i get it like one every 10 or so give me crystallized gold what i what i find is a lot of new players don't even bother with buffalo island yet and this is the best place to go if you're a new player. You should try your best to get those slimes killed to get a key and then just come straight here. As long as, long as you have the two things I have right now, so you can sell your gold for about 8,000 to 9,000 a piece. And that is a legitimate value right now. A lot of people, I've seen a few people like, oh, dark, that's too much. Well, you're still playing like a month behind on values. You don't really know what the values are of things. If you're still trading gold for 5,000, you have not been keeping up with the value of gold. And it is actually worth a lot more now. I buy, I, I can, I can sell out on this alt all day at 9,000 gold. I will list it and they will buy it. Now there's going to be some players that are going to complain. Oh my God, it's so overpriced. And they're not the buyers. They're not the buyers I'm looking for. I'm, I'm looking for the people that actually have the coins and can use it. When you're, when it's hard to find something, I'm more, I'm more than willing to pay more. And that is the whole principle that I've tried to explain so many times in my price guide videos that a lot of people don't listen to. If you understand supply and demand, you understand when there's low supply and it's really hard to find, that's when prices go up. Everyone wants to buy gold. If you've been spending days trying to find gold, are you going to sit there and debate that it's a thousand or two more per gold piece. No, you're going to be like, finally gold. I can finally buy gold. So, you know, and typically what you'll find is machines don't have that much. You know, if you're, if you're needing hundreds of gold and a machine only has 20 to 30 gold, you're still going to be go back. You're going to go back on the hunt for it. And you're going to be bummed because that, now you got to go farm for it for yourself. And a lot of people are just, they don't want to have to farm. That's why there's this entire trading economy is for people that don't like farming, but I don't, I don't like farming either. I mean, I, I like grinding, but this is kind of just, this is not how I would do things because I have an established account. I don't really need to go out to Buffalo island and do this kind of stuff anymore but i can do it i am a, i am a hardcore simulator grinder that's why that's you know you're seeing right here is someone that grinds simulators a lot and has in the past just kind of giggle because this is not a grind to me so it looks like i already have a crystallized iron when did i get that i didn't even know i, I must have gotten that earlier i'll have to i'll have to rewind the video and see when i got that that's cool i didn't know i got that must have been from one of these. So I'm already well on my way and it hasn't even been, it's been 30 minutes and I've almost have a vending machine. In fact, I technically do have a vending machine now because I have enough gold. I got 22 gold. I, you only need 10 gold. But let's go ahead and grind a little bit more. I want that crystallized gold. Let's see if we can get a drop. I really want one. So we're going to do this until we get one. And the strategy I use is I go and buy something from someone else to put it in my vending machine to buy it for myself. You know, I'll, I'll buy it from other people as long as I know it's going to be in demand. So I only trade stuff that's in demand. You're not going to trade anything that's out and that's not in demand. So you're not going to go like randomly pick up furniture and be like, oh, that's a good price, I think. Now you're gonna go for the stuff that is is basically the staple. It's what everyone needs. So I got my crystallized gold. Okay, so we're on. So I got that right there. Oh, I got another crystallized iron. Epic, okay. So I will seed my um, machines with that. Perfect, I have everything I need now. So let's go ahead and go back. I'm gonna go and turn off my macro thing here. You can make a tier three later or you can buy it from someone. You can basically offer someone to make one for you and you can just pay for it later. That's the way to do it. But to waste your time on getting maple and stuff is a big oof. I'm gonna set up my cry iron farm as well. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be farming that 
big time. All right, so let's go. And if you haven't watched my cry iron farm, you should watch that video. It is super helpful. It is gonna be super helpful to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch. I'm gonna hit one of these servers that aren't too big. All right, so we're on this player's island. Let's see if they have anything. Let's see what they got. So I can buy a food processor for a little bit more than it's worth. What? Um, yeah, I'll sell it for 200,000. I'll sell one, sure. Wow. I can buy seeds for too much. Their pricing is a little all over the place, though, though, to be honest. 800,000 for our jukebox. Oh, 800,000. See, this is what I'm saying. They're buying gold for 8,000. If you're thinking I'm overpricing things, that's what they want to pay for it. So let's go smelt some, actually. I need to make a campfire. What are they? Where's their, where's their workshop? Where's their workshop? But I just sold 200,000 from one of my crystallized irons because I only need one. And I'll farm the next one, but I only need one right now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to sell the other one. I'm going to sell the other one. I'm going to sell the other one because I can farm for the next one. That's a good price. Oh, they did they take it down? Wait, did they take it down? Whose place is this? ASA, ASAP Brownie? Okay, there you go. I sold another one to them. Yeah, dude. This is my farm right here. Like, this is my farm. They got a double-sided. Nice. I love seeing this kind of stuff. This makes me all happy inside, seeing people using my 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 videos. They must be using my price guide too, because this looks this looks familiar. Because the pricing looks a little familiar. They're a little off though. I hope I hope they realize that their jukebox is a little high. Like the jukebox, eight hundred thousand. Mm, that's not good. They may think it still works. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I can make a couple of campfires. We're gonna make. I'm gonna make three of these. All right, now we're gonna go back home because I don't need their stuff anymore. Let's go. So let's go ahead and set up these campfires because I need stuffs. I need stuffs. So let's set up the campfire. Oh, I forgot to look to see if I can find someone to buy my um, starfruit seeds. That's okay, I'll do that later. So I've got a bunch of um, coal here. I'll use that to smelt, but I need to smelt my gold, my gold. I need iron too, so I'll, I'll, I'll smelt both at the same time. At least the server's not laggy. You know, let's let's put the ore in here. It's a little faster if you put your your items in your hot bar. Okay, I just need I just need to crystallize iron now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause that for a minute and start setting this up because we really need that. And there's my first crystallized iron. So now I can make my vending machine. I got two crystallized iron from that. <laughs> I got two crystallized iron from that. That's epic. Okay, so I don't have uh, any way to make that yet. So let's go ahead and visit some uh, islands real quick. But do they have, yeah, they have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I'm gonna make one. I can actually make two if I had more stickies. Mm -hmm. I just need more stickies. Okay, that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my island and we're gonna buy green stickies because apparently I could make another one if I buy some. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go set these up and I'm going to set up my first machine. Let's see where I spawn because that's position is incredibly important. So I would say like, let's go ahead and set these up so that you can run up to them. And this will be the first machine I'm gonna buy we're gonna buy a bunch of these green sticky gears. And so that's gonna be cell mode. And then I'm going to make it, I'm gonna buy them for 2000 a piece just to see if anyone's gonna go for that. That is really low. That is really, really low, just so you know. Um, but you can try it. There are some people that are willing to, to sell these for you, to you for that. So I'm gonna invite everyone on the server to my island to see if anyone wants to sell those to me. And on top of that, so let's, let's fill this up a bit. On top of that, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this basic workbench because I don't need it. I'm gonna go and refill this and farm while people are looking because I need some more crystallized iron. I can actually make more vending machines doing this approach. And we're gonna let that respawn and we're gonna go ahead and farm it again once it's all respawned. Okay, so I don't think anyone's selling stuff to us yet. Oh, someone sold me one, that's epic. So that is a good price. Um, I'm gonna bump it up a little bit, buying green sticky gears. Okay, so let's see if anyone goes for that. I'm gonna go ahead and macro this. So even though I'm using macros, you know, it's only going to save me about, I'd say 20 to 30 minutes over time um, because I, I could just do this over and over, but I'm not doing it that much to really add up to like, oh my gosh, DB, you were able to save so much time doing that. Well, not really, not really. It's, it's It does save me some time, but not to the degree that's like, it would have taken me days to do what I'm doing, you know? All right, so I can sell gold. I can sell, you know, berry seeds. I'll sell mine for 5,000. I'll take the 5,000, sure. Um, can I sell this for that? <laughs> can I sell my starfruit seeds for that? That's crazy. Green sticky gears. Ooh, 4,000. I'll buy those. I'm running out of money, but I'll take that. I took all the green stickies. So we're going to go ahead and make another vending machine with that. And I don't have a way to do that. So let's go. I should have used their, you should have used their workbench. Um, please. Okay. So let's go ahead and invite everyone. Look at this guy. Please build access. Please give me build perms. Please give me build perms. I've got my pickaxe ready to go to take all your stuff, please. I'll, I'll help you out. 
Um, okay, I'll make this. Dude, I just need one more crystallized iron. I just need one more crystallized iron. Let's go. He's selling the green pages. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up my next vending machine. This is gonna be to sell. So this is gonna be this side. Let's make line it up. Okay, so we're gonna sell star fruit seeds for 250,000. So maybe someone will buy that. Look at this person with their pickaxe. Everyone's got their pickaxe out. All right, this person has some blocks. They're trying to test my island to see if I give them build permissions. Do I look that noob to you? I must. Okay, so what can we do? Let's go ahead and add some campfires around here. Let's add some campfires. Let's go ahead and add, I need some more crystallized iron. So let's go ahead and farm this one more time. Hey, thank you. I should sell this as well. Go ahead and sell this for 450. Crystallized gold for 450. I sold it, dude. I sold it for 280,000, but come on, dude. Epic, got money again. Has anyone invited me? No one's invited me. <clears throat> so we're gonna wait for this person to be done. Hopefully someone's gonna buy that crystallized gold at some point here. Yeah, I'm not giving you build access, I'm sorry. Not gonna happen. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the pickaxe another run here. Chances are I'll get another crystallized iron. And here, there it is. I feel like I'm using someone's house, you know? When you go in their house. Okay, let's go home. I need more crystallized iron and I also need more gold. So I'm going to buy gold. I'll buy it at six for now. I need to put it as sell mode and it's got 260,000 in it. Okay. Let's do that. And then let's go ahead and invite people. I also need some, I also need some iron. That's okay. <clears throat> Four gold. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for the green stickies. I wish I could sell this. I'm gonna drop it down. Well, I can't. It's just I'm in the wrong servers. This this server cannot afford my crystallized gold, but they can they can afford. So you can actually swap it out depending on what server you're on. Okay, so we're here to find their workbench. We don't care about anything else here. Let's see. There it is. All right, we craft that. All right, there's another machine right there, and we're gonna put. What should we sell in here? We'll go and sell. We'll go ahead and sell this workbench to someone for 5,000 because a lot of people don't actually have these yet and they might want one. And that is for buy mode. Once I have enough crystallized iron, I'll, I'll sell that too. Bread, steel rods. I can actually buy these steel rods for, these are this is a good price. I can sell those for 2,000 each. Iron, huh? I'll buy some of their iron. I can actually buy some more of those steel rods and sell those. I'll resell those. All right, now we can get rid of this junk. We can yeet it off the island. Go ahead and leave it here just for looks. Let's fight some more. We're gonna go drop our crystallized gold for the less. We're gonna bring this down to 400,000. And has anyone sold some gold? They did. Thank you for the gold. I got 22 green gears. I can start making some more machines. I really need to. All right, we got the anvil. All right, we got our iron pickaxe now, finally. So I'm gonna dump this. What can we buy that we can flip? We can flip um, buffalo core keys pretty easily. Looks like a lot of people are selling those for cheap. So we can sell, we can buy those for 1500. So we'll buy 10 of those and flip them. Salmon, someone's, no one's buying salmon. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch that over then. Let's see what we can sell. Well, I don't think I have any, I can sell this steel rod for 2000 so i got it for 1500 sell that for now okay so now i need some crystallized iron i got a bunch of gold i do have some screen sticky so i just need a crystallized iron i can make another vending machine so let's go ahead and do that so i've been gone for a while farming aquamarine and it looks like i've sold out my stuff that's pretty cool and i sold my crystallized gold which is even better and then let's see didn't you so yeah some people sold me some of these so I can start reselling these for a bit more. We'll go ahead and sell these for, I'll sell them for like a little bit more than I was selling before. We'll sell them for 7,000. And what else? Let's put some more money in there. We'll put in 20K and then did anyone sell me these? Yeah, they did. All right, there's still money in there so I don't need to do any more. And then what I need to do is really, I need to, you know what I need to go for? I need to start selling some crystallized iron and buying it. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably repurpose this machine here since I don't really have anything of value. Actually, no, wait, 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 I do have value here. I just realized I have a ton of these shards. I don't really want them. So I'm gonna go and sell these for, I'll sell them for 500 each or 550 each. It's not a lot of money, but it's something. Actually, you know, I wonder if it's easier just to make the aquamarine sword. Two pearls. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's go back to my island. Let's go and pull these back out. 
Let's check a couple more of these farms out. Let's see what they've got. Oh, wizard key for that? Heck yeah, I'll resell that all day. That was cheap. It's a nice double auto. That's a nice double farm. They're using my method, that's great. And they're selling vending machines for 250,000. So good, that's amazing. Okay, ooh, someone bought out all oh, my shards, nice. <laughs> I'm at, at 399,000 right now. We're on our way to 200 million. All right, so we're gonna let that preload for a bit and we're gonna go check over here. Did I sell out? I sold out of whatever is in here. Oh, that was the seed. All right, so I just bought the Pro Pass and you're gonna see my island just filled up like instantly. I literally didn't even advertise it. It just, just started. I'm gonna have to unpublish it soon. I don't have enough. It's gonna sell like instantly. I'm not, a, you know, in this case, no one knows I'm a YouTuber yet. Watch, check this out. Empty, this is gonna be full. 44 already. Look at this, like gold. I'll put a little bit more coins in there. Absolutely bonkers. Look at this, 46 now. I'm practically out of cash. Go put some more in here. So I can take the money out of here. I can I can pretty much withdraw that. Let's go and put, um, let's put the rest of these shards in for a thousand a piece. We'll go 950 a piece, 800 a piece. And you know, I'm, I'm surprised anyone's here. <laughs> That's hilarious. But I'll fill this up. This will get sold because someone's just eager to spend money. When people come to these islands, they're eager to spend. They're just looking for something to spend on. Uh, okay, 56 here. And then let's go ahead and sell these for 5,000 because people need salmon. So this should be out of, this is almost out of coins. Let's go ahead and put some more in. 70,000 in there. Oh my gosh, look at all these people in here. And this is out of coins for sure. Let's go ahead and grab the cash out of here here and put it in the stickies and we'll put some more back in here there we go bounced it out a little bit okay this has been sold out so i'm gonna go ahead and put some more shards in to actually i'll put the carp in there we go we'll put some more in here i really don't have a whole lot of my island <laughs> i'm surprised they're all still here it's so nice not to be chased on my island though usually and it's nice to have that kind of relief of not having to feel like you know you can't do work well i accidentally sold my buffalo core key that's great so i'm gonna go ahead and sell a vending machine for a ton though all right now we're gonna start dealing okay so let's see what we got here we got we ran out of coins put some money in there we're starting to move let's go this looks good we'll give a little bit of coins in that this thing's still full. Let's go pour some more money in there. Let's go grab that. We're gonna go and sell one of these for 200. Sweet, sold one of those. Um, we're gonna sell some gold. We'll sell gold for 9,000. Small profits. We'll sell that. We'll sell up to, we'll keep 80 in the bank at all times. <clears throat> grab this. Let's go ahead and sell some crystallized iron. Hold on, can I actually make another one? Yeah, I can make another one of these, I think. Yep, okay, so I made another one of these. People like the vending machines. I don't know why, but they do. I'm hoping we get free vending machines at some point soon here, because that'll fix this. And let's see, what else can we sell here? We can sell this other crystallized iron. If they really want it, they can have it. Okay, so here I've got more stickies. Yay, green stickies. Let's put some more money in. Put some more money. We're good on gold. Crystallized iron, I'm gonna put some more money in. They keep selling them to me, so. This is for buying. Nice. So we'll keep 60 in then, I guess. And then this is my vending machine that I just sold for 400,000. I just sold that for 400,000. Where's my coins at? I'm at 500, 500,000 already. Apparently that's where the money's at. Um, and I just sold this too. So let's go ahead and drop this down. So I'm basically making 100,000 profit off of each crystallized iron. I typically do this. What the heck are they doing? What is going on here? Oh, they're trying to grab. Oh, he's dropping items. He's dropping items just lagged. Okay. I was like, what is going on? Thank you for the gold. Put some more coins in here. So if someone comes in here with a ton of them, geez, thank you. 9,000, so someone bought all my gold. There's some more. Um, I don't have any more vending machines yet. I'm gonna go make some more. And this is the one that's gonna be sold pretty soon if someone sees it. So let's go ahead and replenish our, let's reload. See what's going on with the vendings. I'm really surprised people are buying it at 400,000 though. It tells me people really need them. And I, I still think they're just too lazy. I think they should probably spend a little bit more time, you know, figuring out how to make these because they're not hard to make. The problem is people are, it's three components, right? You need gold, green sticky gears, and you need crystallized iron to make those. And so they're, they're willing to spend more on them because they can't find them. You never really find them in vending machines for sale. But yeah, you go, you go to someone's island and they got like a million of them that are empty.
Now, the thing with these stores, people are gonna be like, Dirk, a lot of your stuff's overpriced. Yeah, I, I agree. The thing is, is that with these popular servers, they get so much foot traffic and everyone's pretty much a customer. Like, it's not like a scenario where you're inviting everyone on public servers. When you're a popular server, everyone comes to buy, right? They're coming there to buy and sell. So it's a really, really great way for you to do basically a marketplace. And you're gonna end up selling a lot more because of that, because everyone's there to buy. And when nothing's there available and they're thinking, uh, what's another 20, 30, 40, 45,000, you know, it's just easy for you to go there. It's really hard, especially on popular servers to find stuff that's in stock as well. So you're more likely to spend your money at a popular server because, well, it's really hard to find stuff in general, right? So this is my start of the voiceover of what's going on here. So I did a lot of popular server jumps. I was hopping around a lot of servers. Um, I was buying stuff, selling stuff. At this point, it's just gonna be an endless phase of me buying and selling. Right now I have like, what, 1 million coins. I started buying lots and lots of gears. So my key strategy to this was always making vending machines. And so I was making about 100,000 off of each vending machine at least. I did overpay for crystallized iron a bit and I overpaid for gold a little bit. Um, sticky gears, I didn't really overpay pay too much. So you'll notice that I went to the crystallized iron farm probably about 30 or 40 times. And I think I farmed probably about a hundred crystallized iron during this entire phase. It is a lot of work. Let me tell you, it is a lot of work to do what I did. It was a constant grind. I wouldn't recommend for everyone. I think uh, you have to be patient. You have to be very strong willed to be able to do something like this. So, you know, 220 million on this alt was, it was, it was difficult. But again, my whole point of this video was not so much like, Hey, everyone, you can copy because you have so much Robux to be spent. No, it was my point was you don't have to be a YouTuber to make money. You don't have to be a YouTuber to make coins. I, I was challenged by people saying, Dark, it's not fair because you're a YouTuber that people bought stuff from you. That's the only reason why people bought stuff from you. And I was like, you know what? That kind of that kind of messed with me a little bit because I spent so much time and effort on my main to make sure I had valid trades, to make sure I did everything fairly. I overspent on a lot of different things buying from people in my video. And on top of that, I spent a lot of time, you know, hanging out with fans. No, I would say I only made my 100 million because of the fact that the publish features here. Um, unfortunately, I, I could have made all, even more on this alt. I have to tell you, I could have made more than 220 million by combining both the publish feature and Discord. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my alt on the Discord because I already had my main on it and the bots detected that I had another alt, I guess. And so my, my alt couldn't even connect to Discord anymore. The Islands Discord basically IP banned my alt. And I don't know why, because I never even stepped foot in it other than I, I was trying to verify my account and then it banned it before I could even verify my email. I mean, they have some kind of security feature for that, I guess. But you know, having the discord would have been so much better because see all these items that I was selling for the update, all the ancient strings, everything that I sold on my island, you might say, dark dude, you were selling artifact bows for like 10 million or 8 million. I don't know what I was selling them for, but I'll tell you if it, if it said 8 million, the discord was doing 20 million that that's consistent. So I, so people were coming into my island and buying these things cheaper and flipping them on the discord. You, you can't really tell me, Hey dark, you're overpricing stuff because you know what? I wasn't because discord was going higher. If I had access to the discord, my account here would have probably reached half a billion or close to a billion coins very quickly. I could have I could have bought and sold all of this stuff so much better. On top of that, I had someone coming into my server that was selling the Vamp Bow blueprint for 50 million. You know what I could have done with this alt? I could have flipped that for 300 million on the Discord, possibly up to 500 million because there's a lot of billionaires on the Discord. I could have probably sold that blueprint for 500 million on this alt and I could have probably made a billion in a day. You know, I could have, I probably could have reached a billion in a day on this alt. So again, it doesn't really matter about this publish feature. It does help you. The publish feature does help you, but Discord's just as good as publish feature because everyone's everyone's on that Discord. There's thousands of users on that Discord trading in the trading channels. In fact, on my own server, we have just as many people trading on my server as the official server. The Discord is a huge help. Definitely consider if you have the money, get the pro pass if you want to be able to sell like this and buy. Um, it is a really, really good way to do things. We'll sell out anything that you put in your inventory pretty much, except if you're really, really overpricing things, people are just going to laugh at you and call you a scammer. I would say about three out of the thousand people that came through the server didn't like the prices and they're like these these prices are you know overpriced well everyone else was really really happy with it you know i had a lot of comments saying oh my gosh i could make so much money here by selling things to you and that's true because i did buy a lot of things for quite a bit a lot of people would hang out on this island because i kept restocking and they kept selling to me so it's a, again the strategy was very very basic here you are going and buying and selling things you're flipping them just like any other business would in real life so i hope that this video helps encourage you a little bit definitely try out the 
Discord. Now, of course, there's going to be a lot of you that can't use the Discord and can't get the Pro Pass, and I understand that. All you got to do still is server hop. So the first part portion of this video is me server hopping and inviting people and selling and buying. And I got it's it's a lot harder. Let me tell you, it is a lot hard. It is a lot harder. I still could have done, like I said, probably about I would say about 100 million or close to it with just server hopping. Two years straight to the face Champagne belly bubble still won't go away Last year my best man hit a stain with bare face Now he's got a LB on the water's cold case I wake up with pain sometimes and never go away Wonder why I balance on my knees when I pray In my city gritty, gotta keep it on your waist Or you might be a victim, they'll find you DOA I can lie, really been addicted to you all of my attention I've been giving to you Caught up in my feelings, I got feelings for you Caught up in my feelings, I got feelings for you On my mind, I can't lie On my mind, I can't lie Pull you down to your drive We can see here, I got my 220 million. It is, it, again, it is completely possible for you to get this in a day. And this was all done in a day. So don't get discouraged, keep going, you know, keep playing and just know your prices, you know, know what things are worth, buy low, sell high. So my next video is gonna be back on my main account. So this, the money on this account is gonna be given back to the community. Um, I'm not gonna record that video, but you'll be able to see it. Um, I'll, I'll post on Discord when I'm doing that event. But my main account is still on his journey back. So I, I spent a lot of time on this. I think it was probably well worth the test and, and to, to show that, you know, I know a lot of people were discouraged because they thought only a YouTuber can make, you know, can sell stuff. But clearly I'm not, a, I wasn't a YouTuber to anyone on that island. And that was the only point I was making. I wasn't trying to make a point that anyone can make 200 million. My point was I had to do double than my YouTube account just to prove a point that you can sell without having to be a YouTuber. Now, because I did take away time from my main on this in order to be able to make this video, I have not made any progress on my main to get to a billion. But now that this video is done, I am back on my my main account. I'm going to be grinding this one. I'm rebuilding my store. My store is going to be so much more efficient and I'm only going to be buying big stuff. That's how we're going to get to a billion is we're buying things like spell books. We're buying bows. We're selling bows. It's going to be only a high margin stuff, stuff that's in the millions because it's the only way you're going to be able to get to a billion is by not messing with things like sticky gears. So that video should be done probably by this weekend. I'm certainly not expecting to make a billion in a day, but it might happen. I, I got a lot of stuff at the game studio that I got to spend my time on. So I might not be able to dedicate a full day to doing that kind of level of trading again but we'll see we'll see i'm you, you never know you never know anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button and smash the subscribe button again if you're new and i'll see you next time peace